I love Uniqlo for basics. I love them for having really good affordable clothing. And in this video, I'm gonna be walking you through my five favorite items to wear right now. These pieces are primarily for the winter to spring transitional weather. Let's get into it. This outfit is inspired by comfort and elevating weekend looks without too much effort. I was never into the whole parachute pant look, but then after trying these ones on from Uniqlo, I was immediately sold. I wanted something as comfortable as sweatpants, but without the look of sweatpants. These ones are unisex and I picked up a size small. I would have definitely preferred an extra small instead, but they were sold out in my store and I just wanted to get a pair right away, so I grabbed these. These are also part of the Uniqlo U collection with Christophe Lemaire. They're made out of cotton and nylon, and in my experience, they wash really well in the machine. I accidentally threw mine in the dryer and they came out looking great, but for the most part, I do prefer to air dry synthetic fabrics as I find that they last longer. Since the silhouette of the pant is quite wide, I wanted to balance out the silhouette with a fitted top. I layered a Uniqlo U t-shirt underneath and then a merino wool sweater on top. I'll talk about these two particular pieces more later in the video, so make sure you keep watching. Since the weather is still quite cold here in February, I wanted to finish off the look with a wool coat, and this one from Dunst has such a beautiful structure and a beautiful sharp shoulder that really elevates the look of the parachute pants. Style tip, if you want to look put together in your casual looks, incorporate more dressy elements to take things up a notch. Finally, the Le Mer Croissant bag adds an effortless vibe, while the midnight green color just adds a bit of color and it breaks up all of that black and white. By the way, this is in the large size and I do have the small croissant from Le Mer and it is a great everyday bag, but I feel like the large size is perfect on the days when I have to commute. If you follow me on Instagram, my blog, or on Pinterest, you'll know that I love to create lookbooks and give you lots of outfit ideas. I came across these wide leg Uniqlo jeans online when I was creating one of my lookbooks, so I thought maybe it would be a good idea to go out and buy them and see how to style them in real life and see what the quality is like. So these jeans are 100% cotton, which is excellent because one of my pet peeves is when denim has elastane. Number one, they're not gonna hold their shape well, and after a couple of wears, you're gonna end up with a saggy butt, saggy knees. Number two, they're gonna get destroyed in the dryer. For these jeans, I got them in a size 27. I went up a size from my usual size 26 in Uniqlo because I wanted a more relaxed fit. I wanted to style these jeans with more structured pieces, so I went for my cropped outer area wool jacket with bold shoulders, and then I just layered that over top of a white Uniqlo tee. The wool coat is the same one that I was wearing in my previous look. This has been my go-to jacket all winter long. It's 100% wool fabric that keeps me warm, and it looks incredibly high-end. This one is pretty affordable, by the way, and I'm gonna leave a discount code for WConcept down in the description box for you. To finish the look, I went for my MM6 wallet chain, a black Le Mer bag, and Acne Studios loafers. So my next Uniqlo item is something that I can't do without in the wintertime, and those are my heat tech tights. Assuming that you live in a country where it's cold in the winter, then this is something that you might want to consider adding to your closet if you haven't already. This is the first winter where I've been wearing mainly skirts and I find that heat tech is the only way to stay warm in the frigid Canadian winters. As with the entire heat tech line, the tights also come in different levels of warmth. For this look, I went for a distressed Acne Studios mini skirt and a distressed Maison Margiela sweater. The tall leather boots provide me with extra warmth and also adds balance and harmony to those distressed fabrics. The long wool coat is from Remain Berger Christensen. This is one that I got a couple of years ago. The wool scarf is from Acne Studios. I find the purple and blue hues so captivating that I couldn't put it down when I first saw it in the store. It's funny because my wardrobe primarily consists of neutrals with occasional pops of color. I tend to incorporate color into my outfits only when a particular shade resonates with me so deeply that it sparks immense joy. My attraction to color is instinctual, much like many of the pieces in my wardrobe. 
It's a feeling that I can't quite explain, but I know it when I feel it. This is actually one of my most essential style tips for you. When adding a new piece to your wardrobe, pay attention to how it makes you feel. If you feel indifferent, it's probably not the right choice. However, if the item speaks to you and fills you with joy, then you know that it's the perfect fit for your style. The next Uniqlo item that I have been loving from the winter collection is actually something that I know I'm gonna be wearing into the spring and for many years to come. That item is the women's merino wool sweater. I had originally bought the men's version for my husband and he liked it so much that he went out and bought a second one in another color. When I was at the Uniqlo store, I came across the women's version and I picked it up for myself because it seemed like one of those basics that's perfect for dressing up and dressing down. I bought this one in a size extra small, by the way, because I wanted it to be a little bit more fitted. In my opinion, this is one of the more underrated items at Uniqlo. It's also machine washable, which is great. What I normally do is set my machine to the hand wash setting, and then I just lay it flat to dry. For this look, I wanted to style it in a more Dior inspired way. So I paired the sweater with my full skirt from Grana and my tall leather combat boots from AD. To break up all the black, I opted for a grey wool coat from Dunst. The menswear inspired aesthetic of this piece is perfect to balance out the full skirt and I feel very comfortable in this outfit. This is an outfit that I can wear on a date night, dinner with friends or even to a more casual work event. I'm all about looks that make me feel confident but are also equally as comfortable to wear. The next Uniqlo item that I think is a must have is super low key and it is the perfect everyday item. I love this item so much and find myself constantly wearing it so I actually went to the store and ended up buying another one. That item happens to be the Uniqlo U white fitted t-shirt. I got this one in a size extra small by the way because my intention was to use it as a layering piece. Whether I'm styling it underneath a sweater, a vest, a cardigan, or just a leather jacket, I love how this t-shirt sits on the body. It's also 100% cotton by the way. In case you're wondering how to keep white shirts white and looking their best, I like to use this OxyClean baby stain remover. I figured if this stuff can get baby stains out of clothes, then it's perfect for whites. I've actually been using this stuff for years and I find that it works amazing. All right, so to style the look, I just paired it with this incredible Dries wool silk skirt. I also styled it with my tall leather tabby boots, my Acne Studios bomber jacket, and then to add a pop of contrast to the outfit, I just paired it with my brown Dries Van Noten handbag. This one has the twisted brown handles that adds a bit of warmth and a beautiful vintage nod to this outfit. I hope you enjoyed these looks. Let me know what it is that you've picked up from Uniqlo recently that you are absolutely loving. If you did enjoy this video, make sure that you subscribe, like this video, and I will catch you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Bye.